Hello guys, my name is Leah. So today it's the time to do a yearly rundown of the products that I loved in the past year of 2015. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the products. The very first product that I want to mention is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, oil-free, non-greasy version. And this doesn't give you that kind of pore blocking silicone -y kind of texture, which I really, really don't like. Um, this mattifies your skin pretty well. It holds on to the makeup pretty well, which means it extends the longevity of the foundation pretty awesome. And as you guys can see, I finished the whole bottle in a few months, so that's how much I was obsessed about this product. In summertime, I reached for this particular primer a lot, which is the All Day Lasting Primer from Aritelm. This is an amazing primer for oily skin types or if you guys have kind of like a sweaty skin, if that exists. This makes your base makeup quite shine free throughout the day and it just holds on to the foundation pretty good. So I definitely recommend this product as well. Now when it comes to foundation, I love rotating around all the foundations that I have, especially liquid foundations, but ever since I got this one, I've never cheated on this. It's such a perfect boyfriend to me. It's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I talked about this product numerous times. This instantly made into my holy girl status. This just makes you look boring that way and I am wearing this foundation today. I don't know how you guys feel but I have a lot of imperfections underneath but it kind of covers up and it covers in a very natural way. Like it feels like I already have a good skin and I don't feel like I'm wearing tons of makeup on top. So. Well done to face. I instantly fell in love with this product. I hope you guys all try this out and yeah. For cushion foundations, I have two options. The first one is definitely the Sorazu Perfecting Cushion Brightening Version. If you guys can see it, the packaging is amazingly luxurious looking. I really love the engraving that they did on top of the cover. It's beautiful and also the product itself is beautiful as well. It also offers very neutral shades so it's not too yellow, it's not too pinkish, it's very neutral and it's very natural in your skin so when I'm in a hurry I reach for this product a lot. I feel like the coverage is definitely buildable. It's almost medium to high coverage. I saw a lot of YouTubers mentioning this product in one of their product of the years as well. I definitely can see that. I definitely can relate to that. So definitely check this out. Another one that I feel like it's very underrated in the market is the Mamone Cover Powder Cushion. Especially if you have oily skin like me, this is definitely the best cushion foundation, like the best matte cushion foundation that you can get out there. And the coverage is pretty damn good. It's like high coverage. I don't know, it's an amazing product. I keep one in my purse, one in my makeup vanity. I used to put one in my office as well. That's how much I love it. I've gone through so many of this product. I'm probably going to say this in every single product, but this is definitely worth checking out. I know a lot of people mention NARS Raiden Creamy Concealer. Um, as one of their products of the year, but for me NARS concealer works amazing in concealing but at the same time it's very drying on my under eyes. I have my Trustworthy Chanel Perfection Concealer. This is amazing. I feel like this is another underrated product that not a lot of people try out. I always use this in a daily basis to cover up my under eye circles and pimples. It's active pimples, whatever imperfections I have to conceal them and it's pretty hydrating, not in the way that it's gonna move around, it's gonna be like slippy and all that. It's not too drying, it's not gonna get stuck in your fine lines when you laugh as well so I feel like this is amazing. This is this is amazing. I'm sorry I keep saying this, but especially if you have oily skin like me, you will understand how important it is to keep a nice, good, decent powder in your makeup bag. I have a couple of affordable drugstore powder options for you guys to check it out. The first one is definitely the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. You might be sick of me using this. I am frankly quite sick of using this but I always keep this in my makeup vanity for sure because it does a brilliant job on setting your makeup without caking up. It's very finely milled so it's 
definitely worth checking out. The second product that I found out about this year is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. As you can see, I already hit the pan. This makeup powder has more coverage than the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder for sure, so this can work as just a powder foundation itself, but I always carry this around in my makeup bag because it comes with a mirror and a sponge like this, so it's easier to touch up your makeup throughout the day. And it's very finely milled, it's very natural, it doesn't cake off on top of your kind of oily shiny makeup so i really really like that last powder item is something that it's already popular is the innisfree no seba mineral powder i love the loose powder version more than the compact powder type because the pressed powder kind of gets too chalky when you use it for like a few months but i really really love this innisfree mineral powder because it just completely controls the shines, especially if you have like extremely oily skin. So this will come handy in summertime, especially. This will make your makeup look really fresh and very just neat. I've tried a lot of brow pencils and brow products this year, but I tend to always come back to this pencil, this particular pencil product. It's the Shiwa Mura Hard Formula Number no. 9 and I love this because it just gives you a very well put together but still feathery and also natural eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows with this pretty much every single day. Also I feel like this particular shade suits my hair color the most as it's natural. Moving on to eye makeup category, I do have my favorite eyeshadow primer but I don't know where the actual product is. It's the Etude House Proof 10 eyeshadow primer. I've been using that for about three years and I probably didn't notice how good it was until I tried other designer brands eyeshadow primers. I feel like Etude House beats all of them. It's great for the price. It's great at what it does. It just creates a perfect adhesive kind of canvas for your eyeshadow and it just makes your eyeshadow last way way longer and it just makes your eyeshadow really pop out. Eyeshadow category was something that it was really really hard for me to narrow it down to particular products but this palette definitely stood out of my entire makeup collection because I've been using it pretty much non-stop all year round and it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and I know a lot of you guys love it. I do love it. It's pretty much my daily go-to palette because it does have great assortments of colors. It has various shades of brown, wearable shades of burgundy and purple, and also has like olive green color and some highlight shades here. This whole palette just creates very versatile look. Whenever I'm kind of lazy to experiment with eyeshadows, I just feel like this is something that I reach for the most. I feel like 2015 really boomed up the burgundy trend and I do own a couple of burgundy eyeshadows that I was obsessed about. The first one is from Etude House. It's more like a pinkish burgundy eyeshadow. It's satiny. It does have shimmers in it. It's called PK004 Marathon Manju. It could be translated into finishing the marathon. Also, so another burgundy eyeshadow is a little bit more deeper than this um, in terms of saturation. It's more matte. It's called Innisfree Mineral Single Eyeshadow in number sh number nine number nine Malin Sangmi Konni, which is dried rose. So I really love it when it's paired together or when it's paired with purple eyeshadows, brown eyeshadows. I normally pair it with brown a lot. That's what I did to my eyeshadow today. I feel like it really enhances brown eyes. So yeah, I really like it. I have another single eyeshadow pick, which is the Shine Fix Eyes from Aritao in number 22, Cinnamon Rose. I really, really love the name. It's kind of like a dusty, mystic rose um, color with a little bit of hint of champagne and also brown in it. And it's amazing when it's kind of applied on the center of your eyelid. It just almost gives you that metallic-y, glossy look. Um, also, it's great for your under eyelid. It's just so pretty and so flattering on your eyes. Eyeliner category used to be one of my favorite categories to explore, but then ever since I used, started to use the Tony Molly Easy Touch Gel Eyeliner, I pretty much sticked with it the entire year, to be honest. So 
This is something that I repurchased and repurchased and repurchased over and over again. I really, really love this product. It's affordable. It also does the job. It's really jet black, so it doesn't really fade on my eyelid. It doesn't really smudge on my eyelid, so I really freaking love this gel eyeliner. Another pencil eyeliner that I highly recommend is the Jewel Light Waterproof Eyeliner from Holika Holika, especially in this shade um, number 9. 18 karat gold and it's just a shimmery glittery champagne gold eyeliner that is amazing in highlighting your inner interior duct and kind of giving more glitters on top of your eyeshadow it's really really pretty and it's a waterproof eyeliner so it stays on your eyelid pretty much the entire day i'm really really loving this range this mascara hands down is the best mascara ever that i've ever 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 tried it's the maybelline lash sensational mascara this does a brilliant job on holding your curls as well as giving tons of volume and some people hate this mascara because they find it really really clumpy but that's why i love about this mascara because it just gives you so much clump and so much volume on your lashes that it just makes my lashes look really surreal. This is already my third bottle of this mascara. If you love the Maybelline Falsies mascara, I guarantee you guys will love this mascara as well. So give it a try. I highly recommend it if you are struggling with sparse lashes. Now blush is probably my least favorite category out of the entire makeup categories out there but when it comes to blush and whenever I need to wear a blush it was always this product it's from Tarte Amazonian clay 12-hour blush in the shade exposed as you can see it's a very natural peachy pink but it's almost dusty like a very muted peach and pink so it's super natural on your skin it just gives you the perfect amount of flush on top of your cheek so it's not too overwhelming or overpowering that it clashes with your makeup with your eye makeup or your lip makeup now i'm a very weird person because if it's something that's too hyped up i'm kind of skeptical on trying that product because I don't know I'm just suspicious but everyone was raving about this product too cool for school art class by Rodin contouring shade as you can see it has three different colors of brown this is more like a shader so it's like a shading product so um, us Koreans love slimming down the whole jawline and make it appear more like a v-line like this so we kind of shade down the whole jawline with this product and create a natural like a shadow so that's what we're going for when it comes to contouring we don't have a contouring face sculpting culture yet so and this does an amazing job on creating those natural shadow moving on to lip category lip makeup and stuff i'm just going to talk about the lucas papa ointment that i've been using for years and years and i feel like i never have featured this product in any of my videos i keep it in my bed side table as well as my makeup purse i love love this freaking product because it just soothes down, calms down the chapped lips, hydrates it, and the next day your lip is so smooth. And it's a product of Australia from Brizzy. 2015 was a year that I had a very strong obsession towards lip products. Very first product or the product range that I am so obsessed about is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil and it's amazing. It's a matte lip pencil. It just glides on your lips and at the same time it doesn't dry out your lips and at the same time it's so comfortable in terms of the wear and i really like this because it has awesome pigmentation awesome range of shades very very flattering shades also i feel like these two couple of shades has the kylie jenner lip shade kind of vibes i wish i can have enough money to buy the entire shades of this velvet matte lip pencil so shout out to this one um the next product is mac lipstick so this was the year that i rediscovered mac lip products or mac products in general again it's called twig it's from the satin range i really like it because this is the perfect my lips but better color it also has a brick undertone to it so it just appears 
more mature and more like an office lady kind of look so I really like that as well. One thing that I always kept in my purse was this one. It's the Sephora Collection Oil Infusion. It's basically a tint and oil, kind of glossy and watery and kind of hydrating but at the same time it stains your lips. So the color selection is super pretty. The most used product or the product that I used up is the number 6 Bubbly Granadine. I freaking love this product so I hope you guys give this a try. I had a serious obsession towards this one. This is the Arita Water Sliding Tint in number 2 Rose Valley. It's a beautiful rosy coral color. It just melts on your lips. It kind of goes super watery like a butter, like a melting butter. It makes your lip really look juicy and kind of luscious so i really love the texture of this last product from the whole lip craze is the hera rootholic glow texture in 129 airy pink so as you can see this is another kind of subtle side of pink i guess i don't normally wear a lot of pinks it kind of has like a berry undertone to it but it's it's very natural on your lips so this is another amazing product it melts like a butter as well i noticed that this guy made into my 2014 favorites but at the same time it's also my 2015 favorites as well um this is a foundation sponge from real techniques it's amazing 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 it's a dupe for the beauty blender out there but it's super affordable it's like six dollars so I guarantee you guys this is gonna change your whole foundation routine. It's worth buying, it's worth checking out. I definitely feel like tools, brushes are really really important. It kind of changes your whole makeup routine. So investing in a nice brush is definitely worth it. Um, especially this MAC 239 is something that is really essential and a basic item that you must have in your makeup collection. Um, it just packs the perfect amount of the shadow pigment onto your whole eyelid. Blends out really nicely and it also is flat on the side so it has a good control on applying shadow underneath your eyes as well so it's very versatile. Last product from the tool favorites is definitely the MAC 125 SE brush. It is dual sided like this and it's packed with a lot of hair here and it's great for contouring your whole cheekbone and stuff. It's amazing. I've never had a better brush in contouring like this and I thought like the double hair kind of thing was sort of gimmicky and it's like kind of useless and stuff but it actually makes a big difference because this side is more packed and more soft and more dense so it's great for applying cream products and this side of hair is more like loose and kind of fluffy so it's great for powdering your whole face so I normally apply highlighter on this side and contouring on this side and also just cream products on this side so it's amazing. I guess that's it for the entire yearly favorites. I hope you guys have enjoyed. These are the products that I pretty much enjoy it until now. I don't really experiment a lot anymore when it comes to skincare because I'm pretty happy with my current skincare routine. I'll link the skincare routine video right here so you guys can go watch it. Watch my skincare favorite items. I hope you guys have a fresh start of New Year's and also I am wishing you all good luck in 2016. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!